Hello and welcome to Your Best Car. My name's Garrett. I'm going to do you a walk around video of this 2020 Jaguar I Pace. Uh, this one is a 70 reg, so the latter half of 2020. And I'm going to do you a video now just a little bit about us and a little bit more about the car. Uh, first of all, here at Your Best Car, um, we are a finance provider for a few different lenders Black Horse. BMW Alfira and also Evolution Funding so we can set up a monthly payment for you. We can also take your old car and part exchange. We can even take your old car and part exchange if it's still got finance outstanding on it. So have a chat with one of the team about that. Anyway, onto this Jaguar. This is the uh, 2020 I-Pace HSE model with a load of options on it as well, which I'll talk to you about in a little bit more detail. Before we get into that though, this is the 11 kilowatt version. Uh, so this is the facelift model. So if you are looking at 2020 I-Paces, uh, they do a nine kilowatt and 11 kilowatt. Obviously it means it charges a bit quicker, but there's a couple of other little subtle details inside as well regarding the, uh, the infotainment system, etc. The easiest way to tell if you're looking at a few different models, is to unlock it first of all. Let's find some keys. And you'll see there's a little button just on the inside here, which is a release button for the charging port. If it's got that button, it's an 11 kilowatt charger. So that's a nice, easy way to tell. Other ways to tell is that you get the one camera system on the windscreen there, as opposed to the old two camera system on the nine kilowatt. It does mean it charges a bit faster and just has slightly more up-to-date technology. Anyway, onto the car. One owner from brand new, VAT qualifying, full service history, uh, with Jaguar uh, was done October 2022 at 21,000 miles so it'll be due its second service October uh, this year or at 42,000 whichever one comes first. This one's got the black pack which is those lovely black wheels uh, wrapped in uh, Eagle F1 tyres brand new's on the front um, and loads of tread on the rear ones. The black pack meaning obviously the wheels, the trims, the badges they're all EV400s the black Jaguar badge in the middle here as well. Obviously privacy glass as well to the rear. Now the other options this particular one has, it has got the fixed panoramic roof, which you can see there. Keyless entry is all standard on the HSE. Jaguar overmats, all in lovely condition, as you'd expect for this age of mileage. And the other thing there's a head-up display. Hopefully you can see the reflection just there with the Jaguar badge. And if we press the button to turn it on and shut the door, uh, you can see it's giving me some more information as well. Being an 11 kilowatt, it gets this Privy Pro system. God, say that quite, uh, say that carefully. Privy Pro system, which is a slightly different looking infotainment system. Uh, the Meridian sound is standard on the HSE, um, the same as the uh, heated seats, heated steering wheel. Uh, and the full uh, black leather interior. This one's also got heated seats uh, to the rear as well. Sorry it's so dark in here. Combination of our showroom lighting and the privacy glass uh, means it's quite difficult to see. Uh, big benefit of the new Privy Pro is you get wireless Apple CarPlay. So once you've connected your phone, you haven't got to keep uh, plugging it in. Um, it, is, uh, it is all wireless, dual zone climate control, and you've got different driving modes and everything on here as well. Um, at the moment it's charged to 80%, which is showing 170 mile range. Uh, they do actually charge up to um, over 200 on these, I think 220, 230. Um, obviously real world, do your own research depending on conditions, temperature, the amount of people in the car and that kind of thing can make a huge difference. And there's lots of information online about the real world um, performance of one of these cars. I'll just turn this off now. We'll go around to the outside. All in very nice condition, like I said. No excessive uh, wear on anything, which I can see. I do like these door handles as well, the way they pop out when you come up to the car to open it. It looks really good. Rear looking pretty much brand new. Probably never been sat in. Give you a quick look in the boot as well. Obviously it's a power tailgate. You can do that on the key. It comes with two keys, which are here. And then these are all the charging cables which have been put in the boot. So you've got your type two one, and then you've got the emergency one, which works off a three pin plug. As I said, really nice condition for its age and mileage. It's not a brand new car, but it's pretty close. And what a lot of people do is they actually end up storing the charging leads in the front here, or the frunk as some people call it. Let's put those keys away while we just open this up. So you can actually fit the charging leads um, in there. Certainly the, the emergency one goes in there quite nicely. So there you go. 
One Jaguar I-Pace. I hope I've covered everything off. Just to recap, it's the facelift 11 kilowatt version uh, with the P Privy Pro system, head-up display, panoramic roof, and the full black pack. It's probably one of the best looking ones we've had here. We sell loads of these. Uh, if you flick through our YouTube channel, you'll probably be able to uh, tell. Uh, this particular one, one owner, VAT qualifying, will work really well for a company purchase. Is that what you're looking at? You can trade in your old car. We can sort the finance for you. Click one of the buttons on the website to get in touch, and we look forward to welcoming you to our site soon. Thank you very much for watching.